Hey, what's up guys? This is Bill Allen with Evolve Lab bringing you another Way Faster Wednesday. Today we're gonna to be looking at the auto dimensioning tool directly native inside of Revit. This is actually a tool that Ben on our team showed me. I actually had no idea it existed or forgot it existed. And when he showed me this week, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. We gotta share it on our next Way Faster Wednesday. So with that, we're gonna jump right into it. Okay, so now that we're in Revit, we're gonna start this dimensioning tool. Now you can either just go to the dimension tool and you can say what I'm used to is this individual reference, or you can also say DI is your shortcut for dimensioning out of the box. So you can go through, hit DI, and you start dimensioning. You can dimension the center of windows. You can dimension to the outside of the windows. But this is a very long, tedious process trying to dimension all of these items in here. So I wanted to show you guys a faster way to do this using the Reddit out of the box auto dimension feature. So what you can do is actually go to this aligned dimension button and instead of individual reference, you hit this little drop down button. There's all these subtleties inside of Revit. Uh, Revit is a very broad program. There's so much to it. Um, so this little subtle drop down and if you say entire walls, boom, you get your entire wall dimension with all these dimension strings. This is huge. So that is the auto dimensioning tool. Now there's a few features in here that make this tool super useful. Um, one is you can go through and dimension this, go to options, and you can either uh, dimension to the centers or to the openings, uh, the widths of those penetrations. So if we click on that, you can see we get centers versus openings. Further, if we go in here, we can also say intersecting walls. It'll actually dimension this wall, uh, dim excuse me, dimension the perimeter of this wall, as well as any perpendicular walls that that wall is intersecting. Um, and further, there is also the grid uh, option. So you can either say checkbox intersecting grids or don't checkbox intersecting grids uh, for this. So this feature is extremely helpful. Uh, personally, I would do the opening widths. I would uncheck intersecting walls, check intersecting grids uh, for this kind of perimeter dimension. And look at that, in two clicks, you have this entire wall dimensioned much, much quicker than kind of clicking, picking uh, each individual location. Then all you have to do is just go through and just clean up some of these dimensions to make sure that there's no overlapping text. And this is a much, much quicker way um, to uh, place dimensions in your project. I hope you've enjoyed this Way Faster Wednesday. I certainly did uh, learning this tip from Ben on our team. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button so that way you're notified in the future. We publish these every Wednesday and you don't want to miss them. They're very, very helpful uh, in my uh, unbiased personal opinion, of course. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great day and a great week. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.